Hi, I'm Simon Mannering and I'm a branding consultant that's enabling companies to contribute towards positive social change. In answer to the question, I believe that there'll be a fundamental shift in storytelling from what divides us to what unites us. There are fundamental traits that we share in common that are sort of endemic to being human. And the way that media is controlled right now, the way that messaging is disseminated, it's almost more divisive in nature rather than collective and collaborative and celebratory. So I think at large, storytelling will shift into a more positive area that celebrates what's you, what unites us. I think for a long time, we've effectively been divided because those in power necessarily needed to control people in all walks of life. So you would have government institutions, you would have hierarchical sort of boss work environments, you would have media monopolies that would control the messaging. But as those silos blur and drift away, and as the, the conversation shifts to a genuine dialogue between brands and consumers, I think we'll see a shift from a fear-based control mentality to a more collaborative, free-flowing, ongoing dynamic between brands and consumers. And my hope would be that the checks and balances that necessarily need to exist in any system won't necessarily be used to protect those in power and line their pockets exclusively, but will in fact be used and regulated by those in power and the voice of consumers so that they will serve the greater good to a much, much greater extent. In my mind, the purpose and the renaissance of the shifts in media that are going on are really based on the idea that prosperity is not about the wealth of a few, but about the well-being of many. And I think we're at a point in our history where there's an intersection between human need and technology and a democratization of not only information through the web, but also marketing through social media that will enable a shift to occur, in which case the well-being of many will rise in importance at the cost of the extreme wealth of a few, but also through the enlightened leadership of some extremely wealthy people who have realized in their lifetimes that the greatest satisfaction they can gain themselves is through the contribution that they make to others.